Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This is your next 24 hour star reading session for, Li for you Libra, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe, okay? This reading for today, this is for the Libra sign. This is for the Libra friends. Let us see what's happening towards you. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the sign of Libra, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you guys for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe, okay? Let's see what's happening towards you. What is the message for Libra in the next 24 hours? What can I get in love, career, and finance, and general situationship? What can I get for Libra, please? And of course, guys, if you would like to further connect with me, I invite you to also be part of our mailing list. To do that, the link is down in the description box below. And uh, we've got a new channel. And... Uh, the new channel, we will be putting more videos there. The first video will come up soon. I'm just waiting for the new moon. So this is for the Libra sign. And if you would like to further connect with me, uh, please be part of our mailing list. Register your interest. Go towards the website. Check out our merchandise. It's free shipping worldwide. The profit goes to my charity. So if you, would, if you are my supporter and you've been feeling like, if you feel like you wanted to give back, yeah, the merchandise, it all, all profit goes to charity, okay? So this is for Libra. Let's see what's coming towards you. What is the... Ooh, wow. Page of Wands. Okay. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. All right. Let's get your overall energy. I'm feeling like doing a different spread for you. Let's use these cards to uh, clarify your situation. Okay, all right, one more. All right, so you have the Six of Swords, the Three of Pentacles. It seems to be Libra that, you know, over the next 24 hours or the next couple of days, there's a part of you that you would like to make an effort. Three of Pentacles, Six of Swords, you're starting to move, okay? It's possible that the wheels is turning you know, you felt like there's a huge push for you, Libra, to move forward, okay? Whether it's a physical moving forward, uh, you know, moving, sorry, moving from one place to another, but you are baby step, three of pentacles, six of swords, baby step, you are moving forward, okay? It's not big, big step. It's baby step. Three of pentacles, six of swords in here. And I like it. It's it's slow and very balanced. You are you you're not pressuring yourself. You're simply enjoying the move. You know, it's if this is an eighteen hour uh eighteen hours of flight, you know, you're going to enjoy the journey. Uh, if you are moving on from somebody, from someone, you know, a not so good experience, you are recalibrating your energy and you are enjoying moving on to this bad experience, to this past experience. And you're looking forward to, you know, you like you're you're looking into, okay, this is the advantage if I move on. If I move on, if I forget this person, if I move past, if I don't look it back, this is the advantage. And you feel like the advantage is more, there's more advantage. There's more benefits if you move on. So slowly you're doing it, okay? And yeah, King of Pentacles, slow but surely. The King of Pentacles, this is definitely the energy that I am describing. King of Pentacles, you're very practical. You know, in the next couple, in the next 24 hours, couple of days, you're very practical into where you are heading in life in general. Could be career, finance. Very practical on how you move past your past or somebody or someone or a situation. Uh, a, strong, a very, very strong energy where 
there's more benefits and advantage and it feels good if you move on so that's that's a good one now the person or the situation connected to you they've got the emperor and the justice card they've been thinking it could be a friend it could be a boss it could be a situation at home at work um you you're very decisive you you will move on you're excited to move on like in the next couple of days you will realize that there's so much to look forward outside of this relationship or connection like you know i'm really getting like this vibe now the person or the situation connected to you they have the emperor card they've got a justice card like there's a sense of maturity coming towards your person you know they don't want to admit that they are wrong your person your situation is very quiet and they're not admitting that it was their fault okay um the emperor card the justice card but it's starting to feel differently when i say it's starting to feel differently it's because with the, the emperor card the justice card in here if this person is upset i don't know but maybe pride but there's something with their energy where they will realize that they need not to be upset like it's more of like a compromise let's see because it's very neutral like it's your fault libra it's also my fault it's our fault so it's very neutral neutral like it's they're still sitting in a gray area whoever this person is libra they're sitting in a gray area you are decisive you're very decisive you want to go this person is sitting in a gray area now let us see okay they've got the devil card see told you guys um somehow this person does not want to let you go you know i feel like in the immediate future in the in the couple of days you know let's see because there's a part of them gray area like because you in here your your energy is that if i let you go or if i move on there's more advantage this person if i will move on and if i give you up libra i gain nothing if i keep you i gain a lot so in short they are in a gray area where they're they want to keep you for their own personal gain okay they have a selfish motive to keep you you know the this person whoever it is they want to keep you but they want to keep you in a toxic situation with the devil card you know like they want to keep you for a personal gain uh it's something selfish like if they keep you it's toxic but they have you i hope it's making sense like okay you know maybe you're fighting libra but at least i got you okay at least you are in my eyes you know it's it's a person who i would like let's fight you know let's I, i they want you like they would they would prefer to fight with you or i don't know the devil card it's it's kind of toxic like this person the way they think that uh the more like they would they would give you even if it's if it's toxic because they're keeping you like if if they move on they will lose you because right now you wouldn't stay like they would like to they would like this person would like you to stay even though things aren't ready on their side like things whatever they offer it's kind of toxic if you're involved with this person it's kind of toxic but they don't mind for you to be part of this because you're it's still a connection it, it's it's toxic but it's still a connection so that's what they think so you look at that you know okay we're not we're not looking into each other but we're still connected so there's a part of them that they're staying in the gray area because it's still connected with you and it's toxic you on the other hand like i don't want to stay in there because i would rather be like far off far away from you because i don't want toxic so you are i would rather lose you because i don't want toxic this person is like i'll keep you even though it's toxic at least i'm connected with you so 
really really different kind of um you know it's it's really really different kind of way of um you know processing things let us see what is the um yeah let's see what is going to happen between the two of you in this person or situation okay three cards please this is deep Three cards, okay. The Four of Cups, taking a break. The Seven of Wands, okay. And last card. And this card wanted to come out. So instead of three, I'll take four. It's kind of special. The Ten of Cups. And the Hermit card, yeah. So, I feel like What's coming towards you in this what's coming towards you in this person is that four of cups. I feel like you keep on moving and your person will keep on staying. Like, you know, um, it's a feeling where you move on and this person is where you left them, or you move on to a new house. Or a new workplace and when you visit them or when you look back the there this person or these people or this situation is where you left them okay slump you know slump I feel like this person they will be able to find a way to get out of this comfort zone like playing not playing not even playing Cupid but it's more of they're not doing anything to get out from here, you know. Um, they have a Ten of Cups and Hermit card. Ooh. I'm seeing 30, 30 days. <laughs> Let's see. Let's look at the Hermit card. Because there's a Ten of Cups in here. So eventually, your person, your situation, they will be able to come out of... Because you're going this way, this person is stuck. Like, you... This is your person. This is your situation. You're going this way. You're moving. Your person is staying where they are. In order for them to catch up, they need to move. But they're staying there. And then the next... I feel like this is them because you're definitely moving. Let's see. They, like, it's very simple. If your person, if your situation wants to be happy and if happiness is connected with you, they'll fight for you. Let's look at the Hermit card. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. It seems to be... Yeah. Mm. They're feeling lucky. Like this person... You're dealing with a person who they have their own mind and their own timeline or time frame. So you just do you and leave everything behind because I feel like this person, whoever it is, or this situation, they'll be able to escape the crocodile, the monkey, the lion, like, you know, because they've got the hermit card. So they will be experienced and then they'll be able to conquer the devil card. Let's see. Will they be able to follow you? Let's ask the rest directly. Will they be able to join or follow you? not sure yeah two of pentacles in very indecisive yeah but this is change okay yeah this person is really hesitant to change okay last one two cards the queen of cups the princess of pentacles I honestly feel like this person, the situation that you're dealing with, with a Queen of Cups in here, they need to fall in love with life. They need to, there's a part of them that, there's, there's a part of them that's very, very indecisive. Like, 
this person that you're dealing with or this situation that you're dealing with it could be family, it could be romantic as well. They're scared that by the time they get ready, you're no longer there and they will be lost, you know. Like if you won't come back, they will stick to where they are, you know. Like with the Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, Oh, wow. This is okay. I'll, I'll get another card with this. Like this person is, this person is like, I'm just gonna, like this person is waiting for you to come back or I don't know, some sort of date. Okay. One last card. Yeah. Prince of Cups. They're waiting for you to forgive them. You're dealing with someone or a situation or a place which is very toxic and they want to fight for their happiness but if you're gone there's no point like you know this is a person who right now they're very indecisive they're staying in a gray area their logic you know their logic their thinking process is actually out of date you know they're low vibe if you leave them which i think you will because you're no longer like i'm really getting like it's you, you got to look after yourself, you know. Then it will slow them down. But eventually they'll be able to, to, eventually they will be able to get out of this, this, this pattern. Maybe it's a pattern, maybe. But you're dealing with someone who's very, very stuck. Yeah. Look at that. The Hierophant card. They're stuck in an old job and complacency or relationship. But eventually, they will, they will be able to find a way to burst through this. But probably when you're gone. When you're totally gone, this is where they would find a way out. You know, you have to be gone in their life. You know, you have to set the trailblazer. You know, imagine in your work or in a place, in a situation... It's been there. People have been there for like 15 years, 13 years. I don't know, codependency, just to coexist, you know. Now you were the first one who did that. You're gone. And you, you look back and you're happy with your life. You're evolving. You're liberated. You know, things has, you know, has been so fun in your life. When you look back, this person, this situation, they're still the same. And then... You will hear news about this person or situation. It's still the same. And then probably, I don't know, somewhere, sometime, sometime, somewhere this year, you get to hear. They will finally manage to break, break through with this. But you're gone. Yeah, you're gone already. You're totally not connected with them energetically. Yeah, it's, it's kind of too late. You know, Knight of Swords. King of Swords, sorry. And look at them. They're chasing the birds. So it, it's like three months from now. You know, I'm getting like some sort of update or three weeks, three months from now. Okay. Now the next reading is you've got, again, the Knight of Swords. Like look at that. Nine of Wands, Two of Swords. You're really dealing with people with a situation that's really stuck or very... Like in this reading, I find you... Well, look at that. You know, I have already interpreted the following energy, you know. Because like what I said, Libra, it may take two, three weeks or two to three months. You know, like you check them, no improvement. You check back, no improvement. You check back, no update. After that, you have moved on already, enjoyed your life. And then, not because this is indecisive, indecisive, scared, you know. This is your person. And then when you're finally, finally embracing your life, boom, the tower card, the page of wands, you get a news from this person. And the news is they finally break free from whatever this is. And, you know, Queen of Pentacles, they're, they're now looking into, are you available for a catch up to connect with me to see what we can, you know, Let's see the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. What will they tell you? Yeah, they miss you. Four of Swords. And yeah, so probably around June, July. Yeah, August. I was right because the, the Sun card is the August of this. Around the month of August, you will 
two to three weeks from now, two, three weeks from now, you get a person who disappointed you or a situation that's been stuck and stuck and stuck and stuck. No growth. You'll hear from them. Breaking news. They've got some update for you. And they miss you, the sun card. And the four of swords. They want to take a break from, like they don't want to blame. What I'm seeing in here is that they would like to be reconnected with you. And let's see how it goes. Because I'm, I'm, my, normally my reading is within three to six months. This one is quite, there's more to come, but it's depending on you. They'll definitely like, sun card, can we, can we be friends? You know, but you're like, you've probably moved on. I don't know, where are you? Let's see, where are you, Libra, after two, three weeks, two, three months? With this reading. Queen of Swords, you're no longer interested, savagely cold towards this person. Queen of Pentacles, you're somewhere there with your money and honey people very submissive to you and the four of wands you are locked in with somebody so you're possibly with another relationship or in a place where you're very passionate and stable so they have no space by the time they return they have no space <laughs> so this is what i have for you libra thank you i'll see you soon guys you have a great day